we're at Carburetor Hill here at Hollywood. We're gonna try to go up it. We got Brad and Chuck with us and Clint and Della. And we're gonna try to see if we can get up it and see what's on past this. It's a fun little climb. Should be pretty interesting. It's got big old rocks. There's our machines all back here. There's Della. Say hi. <laughs> hey, what do you say, Rhonda? Come like straight like you are.
Now straighten yourself up and get lined up <clears throat> right up the middle of this right thing. Up the middle of it, yeah. Hey, you don't want to back up much. You got to back up much. Back up much. Back The, uh, the screen went Wait dark. Like this. Keep going. The screen went dark, sir. Oh, it's still it's it should be. Mike is coming up next, so let's see how this goes. And this is what it's all about out on these trails. We've got people who's pulled up behind us. They're coming in to help. And that's exactly what this whole side by side is all about, is everybody coming together, looking out for each other. 
during the good and the bad. A lot of good people right here willing to help. Now watch! climb up it. I don't know if it will or not, but I'm going to give it an effort. Gotta figure out I'm how gonna we're gonna get, get her up out of here. Yeah. This is where he just fell down. This is where we're at, people. Look at this mother. I don't even care. Well. And hey, I tried to climb it. Uh. Might need some on this hill. On this on this tree over here. So when he starts pulling, do I need to tighten mine up? Well, I would, I would, I would maybe let him pull. Maybe, maybe, maybe get yours somewhat tight. Okay. That way, when he starts pulling, he can pull it this way, and then he'll be holding the weight. Hold that weight line for him so he can drill it in. Yeah. Just get some pressure on it. <laughs> 
Don't fall off the cliff. Man. Just wait. You mean they start drilling up on itself? Just put well, pressure on it. So. I don't think it's locked in. Hey, you, you, you should just hit. I think it's running up on the cliff, buddy. You don't got to reach out there. Yeah, it's on that damn sand phone. Oh, that's fine. Just, just let, let, let it be. I don't want you to slip across there. That's fine. There it goes. You got it. Alright, so um Okay. So yeah, you, I wanna run your pop? Yeah, you wanna run your winch in and uh so we can get the machine off this tree. And y'all gonna have to yell over there. Yeah. Winch in. Oh Easy. All right. One more or no? Little no more. One more. One more. Alright. All right. Okay. There you go. Let it out. Sorry. Keep going. We are literally on the side of a mountain, guys. Yeah. I think my winch is going to hold me up there. Yeah. Right, bump, bump, maybe bump yours a little bit. Let it fall over. Yeah, we gotta start. Right, now, I'm thinking we need to get to the bottom of Flex now and let his pull my ass in up. And I'll let mine down. If not, we're gonna have a teeter there. Because I'm so high up. Well, what if you start letting off yours right now? Nothing. All right, well, go, go, go yours anymore. It will, but when it does, it's going to be, it's just going to dangle and it's going to be in a bad shape. If, well, right now, I think we can hook to the bottom of Flex and use his to pull it on up. There you go. That that's what's doing it, but Mike's right. We need something we on the back. We got to hook to the back now. Damn, you're. He, he, he lets out. Gonna... Damn. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let off of it easy. See what it's gonna do. I think it's gonna lay against this rock. I hope over here. It is gonna lay against the rock. So, so easy, Mike. Easy. Well, I'd rather have something hooked to the ass. Yeah, that's what we need. We need to tie something to a tree. If we can let his out, or we can just let it out easy. See if it's going to lay against this rock wall. I think it will. That's ridiculous. Holy crap. It's balanced now. It ain't going anywhere. It ain't going anywhere. It's balanced. It's stuck. Get the strap and get the shackle. I got like a fit. Well, what I was just thinking, the way it's hooked here, if we can run the cable, run the strap on down to the back, it could start pulling it on up the hill. Yeah. I think. I, I, Even if it don't pull it, even if you get it tight, you don't think your winch will let it down? 
I think I think it's going to be too tall. Because it, it's going to the front end is going to be up too tall. Yeah, and then you don't think you want to let it out? I don't it think it will. I think it'll. I think the ass end will slide into that tree. You don't like it? No, that's not good. That's just what I see. You see what I'm saying? though? I think yeah, the ass end because there's nothing holding that the back. It's yeah. all in the front. Yeah, I mean the. Yeah, don't think holding the back is brakes. Yeah. It? If we could just let his off where I could get around that damn low bar, and that would make sure it didn't. So we need where we need hey. So you so you need to try to let his off? Yeah. So I'm, try to try to see if he can let his I'll off let just a hair. Just make sure that don't get loose. Well we're still gonna have to have that strap to rehook here. Yep. There, there you go. It's loose, ain't it? Yeah, if you want to hook to it, that'd be yeah, a great idea. I think it'd be the best. It's still gonna be the strap. Do the strap. Brian should have his knife on him. Coming to you? Uh, well, as close as we can here. Yeah. On that side, you need to be on that side, didn't you? Well, I mean, either way, I mean, I mean what, what if he pulls from right there? I mean, do you think that's, you think that's the same thing? And well, what? I was just thinking if you could hook to that. I don't know, no way we can. No, we all got another. Uh, hey, I think I might have one in my box. Tiffany! I've got it, I've got it. Uh, I have a snatch. Tiffany! I've got a shackle. I don't have any more. That was it, just the one. Just the one. Hey Mike, you broke your whip, by the way. Well, that's all right. We won't bring it back to the light. Hold up, let me catch up. Hold on. Alright, he needs all right. to Alright, go ahead. Go, go, go. go. Well, we about got it out of here. I have to say a big thanks to Brad, Chuck, Clint, Brian, everybody that helped me get out of here. I'm one piece. We're going to live to do it again. This is my view right now. I'm straight up. We're getting ready to hook another one to it and try to get it out of here. Say a little prayer and glad I right. That was a hell of a little spill. Well, if you watch the video, you kind of know basically what happened. Uh, we was at the top of Carburetor Hill. There's a big rock. It's about, I don't know, about four foot tall. And I had the bright idea. I was going to see if I could climb it instead of going around the easy side. Well, as you start up on it, you're basically vertical. And you really can't see. You just hope you get up on it and she was straighten out. Well, the first time I hit it, just I had the right line. It just wouldn't go. So when I backed back up, I actually thought I was still halfway straight on the line. I wasn't. And I hit that big undercut under it. And looking at the video, I know I was going on and brought me back and flipped me over. Uh, but when you're in it, you didn't realize that. You thought that you were still going and it was pulling because, of course, it was coming. And it wasn't what happened. I just went on and flipped over. Well, it went end over end and then it started rolling. And it rolled like five times that I know of. And then it went end over end again and dropped straight off that rock wall and landed the tree had the wheel and it landed just like that. Uh, I walked away without a scratch. I wasn't hurt, wasn't so bit. Everybody rushed down there to me. They thought I was dead, but I was fine. Flex, on the other hand, he's got a little bit of damage, as you can see. Uh, as you walk around and look, my headlight guard saved a whole lot of it. It really did. My front bumper took a lick. But uh, it kind of pushed this stuff in, broke the mountain brackets there for the headlight. 
pushed the fender in, you can see where it crinkled it some. Uh, of course, the bumper, it's, it's got to be replaced. The A-arm here, what it did on the A-arm, if you can see here, right here is where it give away at the brace and push this back. And that's what's got my wheel so bad off camber. But the bottom A-arm's good shape. Uh, this fender come off, of course, you know, it, the pop rivets, they're made to come off. My hood, it just, my hood's fine, it's just out of line. My windshield, it was open just like this. It still closes <laughs> and everything. Super ATV did a good job on that. My light bar, my bracket that come up, got my hood, or got the roof. Uh, of course, when it went backwards, got my whip lights. Broke my tail lights back here, kind of pushed it all in. They're just mountain brackets under it. Right here, they're just simple mountain brackets. Uh, my row bar held up wonderful. It's not bent, not one single bit. It held up fine. Uh, Kawasaki makes a really good uh, row cage. They do. To be factory, they put some effort into it to make sure their people were safe if they did roll it. It's impressive. Yeah, very impressive. Uh, for stock. Yeah, for stock, it's it held up very well. Will I be getting a new row bar? I don't know. I said with this one bend, I would, and it didn't bend, so. I don't know, I might just get it beefed up a little bit. Uh, I'd like to get a row cage, but if I do, it's kind of hard to get people to make them where your windshields and all that'll fit. And I'm so tall, and I want that headroom. Uh, all in all, I'm, I'm impressed. I drove it out of there. It took us a while to get it winched up that cliff and stuff, but it drove it out of there. Yeah. Sure. Matter of fact, I had to go over top that damn rock to get up out of there, and I, I made it up over it. Not the side I went on, but the other <laughs> side. But, uh, yeah, we get her fixed and get her back on the trails. Show them this side a little bit. Of course, pop rivets. Yeah, a lot of pop rivets. Now I pushed that mountain in there, but nothing a good old hammer won't fix. Yep. Put that bracket. Uh, insurance adjuster, they came out, looked at it yesterday. The frame's not damaged none whatsoever. The frame held up well, and I was glad of that. I didn't want to replace him. He's, I've had him for a while, and I know what he'll do. He's been a good machine. I haven't had no trouble out of him. They're tough. Their differentials hold up. Their axles hold up. And I drive a razor. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they ain't got the power. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have the power of the turbos by no means but i'm still got 125 horsepower and truthfully we don't run fast enough out there on the trails and need to go any faster it's more of a torque and they've got the low end torque to me i mean i'm not saying nothing about anybody that got can ams razors or whatever each is to their own but this fits me and I fit in it, and I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, thanks for watching, y'all. Please like and subscribe. And help our channel out some. Help us grow. Y'all have a good one. Yep. Thank you.